And now a Mexico moment with Nate and Alexis. Happy Friday, fuckers. It's another Mexico moment with Nate and Alexis. I'm your host, Nate, and this is my wife, Alexis. Hey, guys. How's it going? And this is episode number 19. Very nice. Yeah. Today is Friday, July 21st. Very nice. And I am still uh, on my my Europe trip. <laughs> you are? You are? <laughs> and right now, I should be in back in Belgium. Um, we my, still miss you. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Appreciate it. But yeah, my buddies are leaving tomorrow, and then my dad gets in town tomorrow. Very nice. Marky Mark. So start the second <laughs> leg with, a, hopefully I'm not too exhausted, and I still have my patience about me. I'm but. sure you'll be fine. <laughs> you might be a little tired from after the guys, but you know, just have a bunch of espresso or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so obviously, I can't really talk about my trip at this point, yeah. but... Um, whenever we do episodes, we always like kind of write down things that have been that happened to us over the weekend or um, that something we remember that happened to us in Mexico. That's funny. Something always happens. There's yeah. always something going on. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes we don't get to everything. Yeah. Uh, so we thought we'd kind of just re uh, reminisce, I guess, of yeah, th- some tackle. things that we, we didn't <laughs> really talk about or just other things that we kind of mentioned to each other like oh it'd be funny if we talked about this or, yeah. or what you know what, i wonder what everyone else thinks about you know a certain subject or something yeah we uh, love sharing these stories because we'll get like a lot of messages from friends and listeners and you know this is what i did with my husband or whatever yeah <laughs> exactly funny, funny to hear everyone's yeah story. so this happened um god so when did we get that cooler so oh. first of all when we moved to mexico we didn't realize <laughs> like or i mean mm-hmm. when we moved to this area of yeah. mexico we're so close to the beach, you think coolers would be super easy to get or cheap or whatever. Nope. They're expensive. Some expensive of them. Expensive and rare. Yeah, just like some <laughs> of like the larger ones that you would have at like a tailgate or something, yeah. like $50, $60, which yeah. I don't know, maybe that's how much they are in the States now, but I remember getting one for like 25 bucks at Walmart or oh, something. Oh, yeah, true. They, I feel like they used to be cheaper. Yeah, but this wasn't even a large one. This was one of those like kind of soft coolers, right? Yeah, like you take to the... I mean, the beach or sporting event or something like yeah. that. Little and now we have like three, of course. But, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but the one that, that we got, I think we got it from this the grocery store Mega. Mm-hmm. And it was a soft cooler. And I can't remember. Do you remember what happened to it? Was like the stitching coming off? Stitching. Yeah, the handle started ripping. And then like the top handle of it, because it had that little like lunchbox kind of lid. Uh, and then the uh, the bottom, like the stitching, started coming apart. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and it's like think... an igloo soft cool, like a name brand, you know, a ni- nice looking cool. Yeah, and I don't think mm-hmm. we had it that long. No, we it was didn't. It, it was it was a very short period of time, and that's why I think we both decided like, well, let's go try to return it. Yeah, we had Which... it. We didn't have it long, and we're very gentle with our things. Yeah, and we've always kind of been told like you can't return stuff in Mexico, and that's kind of true but it's more so like if you go and buy some souvenir from a trinket shop or or, you know somebody on the street or whatever probably not going to give you a refund if it's like walmart mega which mega is comparable to like a walmart Mm -hmm. or you know a bigger box store type like that think no problem they'll weave the receipt i'm the return queen we will take it back yes (laughs) (laughs) so this uh evening that we were going to go return the cooler Mm -hmm. we were walking to a nate we have a used to have a neighbor that was a dj yeah and he was doing a dj set at some club it was oh was his birthday or was somebody else's birthday some birthday yeah i think think it was his birthday maybe yeah and he was doing like a dj set yeah and so he was (laughs) inviting he invited everybody in our building and all of his friends and stuff to go to this this club that he'd kind of like reserved a room to so he could do his birthday party there. like let's go heck yeah yeah, yeah. You know the dj yeah so <laughs> right so on our way there we're like oh it's uh on our way to or mega is on the way yep. why don't we bring the cooler with and return, return it. it get some cash yeah. buy some beers we'll be good boom so <laughs> uh so we start walking and it's the whole distance was maybe like a 25 minute walk or something. Yeah. But so we walk uh, to the grocery store and we go up there and we're and we just got here. So we're our little Spanish at the time. It's horrible. We're just like <laughs> and, you know, they usually speak English at the grocery store. But no. Nope. Yeah, well, I mean, they do like some of them do, but True, yeah. not all of them. I guess. Not this lady. Uh, yeah, this lady. <laughs> so we go up to the customer service and we pretty much tell her and we have i think we had the receipt right yeah we had the receipt had the bag you yep. know showed her everything and she was not having it no she was like <laughs> no she yeah. wouldn't let us return it because it was sandy on the bottom 
the bottom. Yeah. yeah. She immediately flipped it over. I remember she looked at me and goes, no. I was like, no, D- no, dirty. Uh, well, yeah, we used it. Obviously, we used it. It was still a little bit wet inside, but we're like the stitching. This is the problem, not the dirt on the bottom. The handle's broken and the thing's about to come apart. She was just like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I could understand if like it was some, we just didn't want it. And they yeah. like, like if somebody wear, buys a pair of shoes and wears them and then they couldn't resell them maybe as new shoes because yeah. the treads are messed up yeah, or something. Obviously. But this wasn't something they were going to resell. They would have had to send it back because it was falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know like why like they wouldn't take it because it had some sand on it. I think it. she even brought the manager over. We're like, please, like I don't understand. Yeah, you, you know, you we, were like brushing it off. You're like, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, it's fine. We're like, we'll even take a new one. Fine. If you don't want to return it, we'll take another one. You know, they had a whole bunch of them there in like a little pyramid. No, they just looked at us like, get out of here. Bye bye. Yeah. We don't know. You know, we just bought this. Like, yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? That's it's so dumb. Yeah. But anyway, okay. so we're like, all right. So now we're <laughs> in the conundrum of walking to a nightclub while we have a cooler. Right. And we're like, hmm. Yeah. Should so we bring it in with us. <laughs> so I'm just like, let's just stash it somewhere. You know, like, I don't know. I did that a lot when I was in college or something. If I had. You know, like a a bat, yeah, a coat or something, and I didn't want to bring it into the nightclub. I just like, I'll just throw it under this bush or something, you know. (laughs) Of course you would. Yeah, and I'll get it later. (laughs) So we're walking by kind of the city square, and around the outside there's this restaurant, and kind of on the side of it is one of those giant green, I don't know, transformers or whatever you call. Yeah, the big electrical boxes. So we're like, all right, well, we'll just hide it behind here because it was like clean. Not yeah. in the direct line of view. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen it just yeah. walking by or anything. And like it was that. dark by that point. Yeah. We're like, that's fine. Exactly. So we throw it back be- behind the, the electrical box <laughs> and continue on our merry way. And we tried to come fashionably late to this uh, nightclub. We tried. Fashionably, yeah. fashionably late for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was like, I think he said be there at like 7 or 8. And we yeah. showed up at like 9 or 9.30. Yeah, it starts at like 7 or 8. Or and something. so we go into this nightclub. And I mean, it's like a bar. It's not like yeah. a doon, doon, doon kind no, of nightclub. No. But, uh, they, and they had karaoke upstairs. going on when yeah. we got there, I think. <laughs> yeah, they did. I forgot about that. And uh, so we get a we each order a beer from the bar. And we get the beer, and it's like the biggest fucking like steins of beer you've ever seen. Another rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah. Need orders, and then I'm like, just being easy and agreeable. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that too. Like five liters of beer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm carrying around this huge mug, like huge. it's as big as me. <laughs> so we're in this place. We're like, okay, where where are we going? And they tell us, oh, the private party is you know in the back. So mm-hmm. we go in this back, and there's a r- big room. And it's dark and there's like some lights and stuff and there's DJ, there's somebody DJing and we go in there and there's not a fucking person in there. Nope. So it's you, me, and then our neighbor, the birthday boy, couple, who couple we didn't DJs. really know very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it's just him and us. So we're just standing there with these massive beers that we can barely hold. I know. I'm like literally holding it with two hands. How am I supposed to dance with this? Everybody's <laughs> like grooving. Like, no, yeah. we can't move. <laughs> so we, after we're kind of mingling for a little bit some more people started showing up after a little bit and uh and i think i don't know what time we ended up leaving what was it like midnight maybe maybe or or 11 we gave it our best yeah we stayed for a couple hours so we we waited till there was other people there so it wasn't so awkward for him um to not have anyone at his birthday yet but i guess if these are like dj friends or club people they probably don't go out till midnight anyway yeah we uh we made that mistake (laughs) anyway so on the way home we rode we took our like the city bikes that we have the membership to that we can just kind of take from anywhere. I think we rode those home. Yeah. And we're like, we'll get the cooler later because it was kind of out of our way. Uh, I was like, I'll I'll just go get it tomorrow. Yeah. Did Yeah. Did we say that or did we just forget it? I think we forgot. We took a different route and we were like, let's just bike home. (laughs) Okay. So maybe when we got home, then I was like, oh, the cooler. I was like, oh, we'll get it tomorrow or whatever. So I go over there the next day, and I didn't go early because we were a little hungover. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, it's 10, 10 o'clock. It'll be fine. And I go to get the cooler. It's gone. Gone. Somebody <laughs> fucking janked it. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> we should have known better. It's Mexico. It's like everything's gone the minute you put it on the street. Yes. Anywhere. Exactly. Finders keepers. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we lost our first cooler in yeah, Mexico. Good. Yeah. And we just ordered a bunch on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so that was our cooler story. That's how we lost that one. But this one actually happened a few weeks ago, and you weren't here. This was when you went on your your ladies' trip. Oh, fun. 
So I went oh, up I to, to I took Tiger up stairs, like up to our rooftop. Yeah. And you know those giant pillows there? They're like basically chairs. It's like kind of like a beanbag chair, the oh, one that, yeah, yeah. that our, our neighbor brought from somewhere else mm -hmm. to keep up there. Big like beanbag, like yeah. more structured so they're beanbag like chairs. Two feet tall and you sit on, yeah, it's kind of, I mean, they're chairs basically. Yeah, you yeah. don't sink down into them. You sit up on them. Yep. But they're cushions basically. So another time... She had messaged in the group like, hey, can somebody go up there and take bring them inside because it's about to rain? Yeah. So when yeah. I, I went up there uh, before I'd brought Tiger up there, I was checking to see, you know, if it was going to rain or not. So I go up there and I, I see it is about to rain. Yeah. So I go up to the second level to get the the, the cushions because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'll be a, a good neighbor and bring them inside. Yeah, so I, I throw and. You know, those stairs are kind of janky. Yeah. So I throw both of the pillows over the balcony down to the pool deck. Mm -hmm. And so I throw the first one, you know, boop, lands on it. Throw the second one, boop, lands on the chair, bounces off of the chair. Oh, no. Into the fucking pool. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. So I'm then I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. And it's, <laughs> since it's so big and sturdy, like it doesn't like sink or anything. Oh, it's good. like floating. <laughs> but I, I go down, run down the stairs, and I go over to it, and I can't reach it because oh, no. it's al already floated to the other oh, side no. of the pool. So I'm like, oh, my God, i got to get this thing out before it gets super soaked. <laughs> and I, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't wearing a swimsuit or anything. I had, like, shorts, a T-shirt, and my hat on. Oh, my so I take my uh, my phone out of my pocket. I take my shirt off. I take my shorts out. I'm in my fucking underwear. Oh, and I God. jump into the pool and save this fucking... <laughs> pillow a big poof <laughs> yeah and it was just soaked it was waterlogged so oh, i'd no. like i sat on it and squished it out but in trying to save these pillows from getting wet oh, i instead soaked one of them oh no <laughs> because yes, it went well, into yeah, the pool yeah, yeah. you did Jeez. yeah so yeah i felt real bad about that <laughs> i'm sure they've been wet already or you know we'll get wet again no more good deeds not I'm the done. first or last <laughs> that was a very good deed yes i tried i, tried. I like how they call them uh not like they're like poofs, P O O F. Yeah. Because we didn't know what she meant in the group. I was like, a pillow? Are there pillows up there? And you're like, no, they're legit poofs. <laughs> yeah, like a cheesy poof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Poofs. <laughs> and this isn't so much a story, but an observation I had. Oh, I love it. When I went over to Cozumel to stay at our friend Wanda's place mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with our other friends. Yep. I was. Slumber party. Yeah. I Oh, this I had a, a koozie. Oh, you know, okay. can yeah, yeah. koozie keep keep your beer warm or keep your beer cold. Keep it cold, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got tons of koozies here. So I had my koozie and I was talking to Wanda about something, and I was like, you know, it's really weird. Like as hot as it is here, koozies aren't really a thing. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, those are like kind of bougie for Mexico or whatever. Bougie. And I was like, really? Uh, I'd be like, let me take you to the United States and show you who's using koozies. Yeah, <laughs> it's but, not bougie, people. Yeah, but I thought that was kind of funny that they thought that that was a little bougie yeah. to have something to keep your beer cold. Like, Isn't that the ultimate goal? Keep the beer cold yeah, until you drink it? Exactly. So I'd rather be called bougie and have yeah. a cold beer than be warm oh, you know, or have my beer be warm you're a bougie bougie beer snob <laughs> <laughs> you just can't win <laughs> yeah and then uh that's, uh actually i didn't know that that's really funny yeah hmm. but it makes sense because i don't see anyone using them whenever we go to the beach we're the only people with koozies true and we always like hand it i always hand them out to people like you want a koozie and they're like sure okay yeah. i didn't even put two and two together like you know just yeah just take it use it it's so dumb because okay you're at the beach it's like, I mean, it's been like 105 yeah. recently yeah. and the, the lager beers get real warm real quick, real quick, especially in your hand. That's also hot. Yeah. So why would you not have a way to keep it from, you know, maybe get, they, getting warm? Maybe they think you're not supposed to sip it. You're supposed to like drink the beer and move on. They don't, maybe. you don't even I, need a chance. For I it just to get don't, hot. I, I do not like warm lager. No. Like it's, especially at the beach is ugh, it's like know. malty and coppery or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now, well, now I know. <laughs> now I'll be bougie with you. <laughs> well, it's kind of like not not exactly the same thing, but with uh, like sour beers. Like our friend Brandon, who's a brewer here, he told us that Mexico doesn't really, or at least this part of Mexico mm -hmm. doesn't like sours. Yeah, and which surprised me because all the drinks are fruity. Yeah, There's, true. You know, margaritas, daiquiris, pina, pina coladas. coladas. They're all like coladas. fruity drinks. Yeah. Um, and it's hot here, so yeah. you'd think you'd want like a refreshing 
you know, Berliner or something to. No, they want a uh, a lukewarm Coca Cola. Yeah. that's what they want. <laughs> Two liter. Yeah, and, uh, thir- flat, thir- just like I like it. Yeah, like- three liter form, whatever they have here. <laughs> <laughs> like Mama used to make. <laughs> yes, that's what they want. Yeah, <laughs> nothing uh, refreshing. <laughs> and then uh, the last observation I had was this was, and and you've told me this before, but this is also when you were um, on your ladies trip. Pugs are chick magnets. Oh, I'm telling you what. N- not even just chick magnets, just people magnets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of annoying sometimes, but it's Oh, cute. I know, because you're like dick, you're a dick to them. <laughs> like, don't touch my dog. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Jesus, they just like, a lot of people are on vacation, they miss their dog, they want to pet a, yeah, a pug, and you're just some, like, stay away from me. <laughs> I swear, some of those ladies that come up, or guys, they're going to take him and run off, and I'm like, I know he looks like a puppy, but he's not. He's really old. <laughs> no. Well, the cu- this wasn't like a chick magnet situation, but- there was a couple that came up to me to talk to Tiger mm-hmm. because, of course, they have a pug. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. and they're, they're both Mexican, and they live here, and they lived, only lived a block over. Nice. And so we were talking about them a little bit. Their pug is eight. It's a female. Oh. And um, and I told them about Tiger's Instagram, at Tiger Under the Table. Yes, follow, follow. And so they started following, nice. and I said, hey, you know, maybe, then, like I said, they only live a block over. So I said, maybe you guys want to do like a pug play date or something yeah, sometime. Yeah, pugs so, love pugs. Yeah, so anyway, if you be nice to people, you get more followers, <laughs> Alexis. Let me tell you, I talk to all people with pugs, I do. I Anyone with do. a pug, I hunt them down. <laughs> There's a couple couples around here that have pugs that I have yet to talk to, and they're on my list. Mm-hmm. I'm, sure. I'm sure. No, I tell the creepy guys to go away that are like, they want to talk to me and not Tiger, and I'm just like, Away. <laughs> get out Don't of here. touch my dog or the kids with their little booger fingers. Leave yeah. my dog alone. Get out of here, boogie things. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's get to some listener questions. Okay, what? switch it up. Sounds uh, good. All right, go ahead. All right. First listener question is from Rachel K. Was it hard to get an apartment lease there? Uh do you have to be a citizen or what? Good question. Yeah. No. Um no. No. I mean short answer, <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is the easiest apartment lease I think we've ever signed. Yeah, so we uh, we are residents, we're not citizens, um, and you don't even have to be a, a resident no. of Mexico. They and it's kind of up to the landlord. True. Um, usually, like at least for ours, he just they, no proof of work really. I just showed him my business card yeah. that I had worked at the <laughs> or I was working at the radio station at the time, and um, like we have jobs. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, sign that, here. That was basically it. You do, yeah. You sign a lease. They're usually six months to a year. Um, there's a deposit, uh, usually one month's rent, and yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah, it's right? It's about the same. If anything, I mean, there's a lot more Airbnb rentals here that will do like a month or a couple couple months if you want to move around and try different areas. But we try and stay with like a six or twelve months to kind of lock in that lock in that rate because it'll go up and down depending on the season. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Um, no, so I don't want to like, I, I would never encourage this obviously, but if you, if you're asking like, well, first of all, yes, you can get it here again, an apartment here as a tourist, yeah. but if you're asking like, is it hard to get out of or whatever? Not really. Yeah. I mean, you, you could just leave. Yeah. You could rent it for six months and leave after three. Yeah. You just lose your deposit basically. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, there, I don't think there's not like, it's not like in the U S where I don't know if there's some list or whatever, but you don't want to have like a bad mark on your renting history, right? Because yeah, right. then the next landlord or renter oh, yeah. will um, will uh, maybe not rent to you. Infect your credit, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so here. here I don't think there's anything like that, Bam. but they might all talk to each other, so I don't know. I'm but. sure. I wouldn't want to, like, uh, it's very tight-knit here, and our landlord's cool, thank God. We have a really cool landlord. He's younger than us and really nice, but, um, you know, we we would never just leave out on a lease or anything like that. I'm sure people have different situations, but everybody's so cool here. It's like, why would you want to be on a potential list or, you know? Yeah. Well, and like with our landlord, if, if you have to leave for any reason, like leave your lease early, you can get out of it. You just have to find someone else to replace you and not to finish out your lease. They have to sign another six month lease. So like if you leave after three, they have to come in, take over your place and then sign another six month lease as well. So, Um, but, and then one more tidbit about renting apartments here that I'll, I'll add is if you are looking for apartments, at least in Playa del Carmen, mm-hmm. um, try to go with like a reputable landlord, maybe not just somebody that's renting out their room or something. I mean, yeah. you, you can do that. The problem is though, is a lot of people do not get their security deposit back. Yeah. And that's usually because it, if it's like, you know, a local Mexican family or something, 
when you pay your first month's rent and um and your deposit that money's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's they they've already whatever. spent it. So when <laughs> it comes to the end of your lease and you have let's say, you know, let's say your your rent is 1000 a month or mm-hmm. something. That that's a lot of money for them to try to save back up to get your deposit back. Yeah. So again, would not encourage this, but a lot of people just don't pay their last month's rent and then just kind of like ghost their landlord for the last yeah. month, which is kind of shitty, but Yeah. You know, I guess I get it cuz it's also kind of shitty if you don't get your lease or your uh Deposit your deposit back. back. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll see. We've heard some horror stories with some landlords and electric. You got to watch your electric and the AC here because mm-hmm. you're running it a lot of times. But thank God, you know, we've had a really good, yeah. really good electric here and all that. Well, and our landlord is, uh, he works for a company actually. Right. So that's, right. that's nice. You want to, that's what I'm saying is you want to find a good reputable landlord and company because they have the funds to back up the yeah. the deposits and maintenance stuff. or if something goes wrong, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing, maintenance, you know. You like luckily they're on top of it. It's a, it's a reputable company. Mm-hmm. So if it's just some guy, you know, he has to hire some other dude to come and fix your place and it might not if he's not out of water or if he his electricity is yeah. not out, then he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, you might be waiting. <laughs> yeah. So, good question, Rachel. Yeah, very good. All right, next question. Um, I'm thinking about I think, ooh. Next question. I'm thinking about coming down for vacation in September and I need some dental work done. Is it cheaper there than in the U.S.? Are the dentists trustworthy there? Uh, that's from Kevin T. Good question. Yeah, very good question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that is something you could do here. It is far cheaper. A lot I, of people do that. I couldn't tell you exactly because I've never got something other than a cleaning here. So I couldn't say like, oh, this, you know, this is what a crown normally is. This yeah. is how much it is here. But we hear a lot of people coming here for like uh, cosmetic, dental yeah, work. That and or, things or like that. Botox or, yeah. or not Botox, but, you know, cosmetic. facelift yeah. or whatever, <laughs> surgeries and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like the yeah the dentist. It, well, first of all, yes, it is cheaper. Yes. It will definitely be cheaper. My buddy is supposed to be coming down sometime this year because he has like a root canal and like five crowns or something he has to get. And I think it was like I can't even I couldn't even say like thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. in the U.S. And I think it was like two grand here for nice. like all this work that would be. And your friend Stephanie just got some stuff. Oh done yeah, too, yeah. Right? We have a really good uh, dentist, uh, Coral Dental. They're very awesome. And would we pay like forty bucks for a cleaning and a checkup? Mm-hmm. So cheap. Very yeah. Nice. So yes, the and to answer the second part of your question, the dentists are trustworthy. They're yes. very good. The thing that I like about them is. They are actually doing your cleaning. Yeah. It's and maybe we've mentioned this before, but it's not a hygienist that does the cleaning, and then the dentist comes in and stabs your gum three times and then leaves. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. this guy, the dentist, is actually there cleaning the your time. teeth and then also assessing your teeth. So he has more. He's spending more time in your mouth. So he's probably going to see more things. Yeah. You know. So and just like back at home, we we read reviews here we get word of mouth you know we talk to a lot of our friends where do you go to the dentist we've heard good and bad my friend stephanie again she couldn't get into our dentist right away so went to another one had a whole mess of trouble now she's going back to ours and it's getting it all fixed up so you know word word of mouth not just like what's most convenient or close um definitely have to shop around just like at home Mm -hmm. you know do the same yeah (laughs) and and a lot of people are hesitant to get surgeries or, or whatever, go to the hospital here. Yeah. They think they'd rather like that one friend of my buddies that broke his arm oh, yeah. and he stayed here for three days with a broken arm with just in a cast, but nothing yeah. fixed or anything. Like they, they do have doctors and surgeons. Here. Yeah. And, They're reputable. And like. that, I think that's a big misconception about Mexico or other countries is that they think that the American health system is this just fantastic thing, which it is. I mean, I mean, like the the schools and stuff there are, but they have just as good schools in other countries. Mm-hmm. The, it, it's not like these dentists and doctors and surgeons and stuff went to like some cheapo yeah. dental school yeah. in, in a cinder block house or something. Yep. They went to like giant universities. Mm-hmm. They're very well, like very knowledgeable. Very well um, spoken. Yeah, well spoken. Yeah. And and to be also be bilingual. You yep. know, you got to be intelligent to to do that too. So. Um, yes, they're very trustworthy, yeah. very uh, professional and good. So, yeah. Yeah. Maybe look into something if you're uh, looking to get something done. Or I, mean, I would. Maybe come down here if you're looking to get something done. Yeah, yeah. We could recommend you our dentist. Yeah. <laughs> and I think a lot of people do that in California, that if you're like close to the border, yeah. a lot of them just go across the border to get 
like surgeries and stuff. What's it called? There's a name for it, like cosmetic tourism. Yeah, or... well that that blew up after that news story with okay. the that that girl that was getting like lipo sure. or whatever. Well, even before that, I know there's like that's what people um, remember that couple we met in uh, Cozumel, and the one girlfriend was having surgery, and the other girlfriend came out and had some drinks with us, and mm-hmm. she was waiting. So she had mentioned that she's like, "We're doing a little bit of cosmetic tourism, and I'm just here for support." <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, I get it. I get cool. it. All right. Uh, thank you for the questions. Those were great. And uh, Lex, are you ready for the Mexican slang of the day? I'm ready. It's my favorite. All right. The Mexican slang of the day is carnal. Ooh, I might know this one. Yeah, it probably sounds familiar to you. Uh, that show we watched, the Mayans MC. I like that show. Um, I don't remember. I know they would say it to like the boss man or the guys would always say it to each other, like El Jefe or mm-hmm. something, but I don't know what it means. Yeah, so, yeah, carnal it literally means brother, okay. but it is like bro in English. Okay. So it's usually referred to as good friends. Okay. So you wouldn't say, like, if you're introducing your brother, like your actual brother, oh, you wouldn't gotcha. call him carnal. I, I don't think my, so. It's not my hermano. No, yeah, it's like, <laughs> again, like it's like your bro or whatever. So okay. you'd say, like, Alexis, te presento a mi carnal. So it means like, Alexis, this is my brother. So cool. this is like, or Alexis, this is my bro. So cool. saying like, this is my, my dog, my boy. So you can go up to your guys and be like, que tal, uh, carnal? Yeah, <laughs> que tal, carnal? Yeah, that kind of <laughs> like, rhymes. Yeah, well, it, and like you'd mentioned, we watched, or we've been watching the Mayans MC Motorcycle Club mm. spinoff of Sons of Anarchy. Love and we it. kept on hearing them call, um, who was the, who's like, like the main Primo guy? Primo or the... No, um... The guy that was in Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah. I don't remember his name. Yeah. Anyway, so th- we always keep <laughs> hearing him guys. say, hey, Carnal. You know, yeah. like, so we're like, what like is brother, that? Brother, brother. Yeah. That? So he's just saying, like, me, brother, yeah. you know, my brother. I love it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good one to have. So I'm going to. Can tell Carnal? Yeah. Can tell Carnal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. I'm going to try that on the beer club, guys. See if yeah. they'll probably be like, no, nah, dude, you're using it wrong. They'll be like, you can't <laughs> rhyme and say brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, anyway, thank you to the premium two percenters for uh, supporting the show and the, the network and everything. We really appreciate it. Uh, but before we get out of here, Lex, do you got anything? I just uh, hope you're being safe and uh, you make it home. We're almost there. We're getting <laughs> yeah. close. He's have, yeah. have fun with your dad. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. And happy Friday, fuckers. Happy Friday, fuckies. That's it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye for now. Bye.